Have you ever been on a stream and wondered what in the world a heist was? Or why people are dueling each other and how they do it? Well, today we're going to see exactly how we're supposed to set up Streamlabs Clownbot and what specific settings are best and how we use them. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, my name is Matthew with StreamCenter.xyz. I'm also a variety streamer over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Fox and Socks. All the links will be down in the description. It'll be very easy for you to find me if that's what you want to do. Actually, if you look right now, I'm probably streaming. Why don't you come check me out? Come say hi. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. But anyways, Let's jump right in. So the very first thing that we want to do is go to our Streamlabs account and go down to CloudBot. Once we're at the CloudBot page, you'll see a number of different things in here that we're going to be looking at. Uh, first, under your mod tools, if you end up setting it up as a mod, uh, you can do caps protection, you can symbol protection, link protection, if you want to remove the ability for people to actually do that, which you can see I actually have that particular mod on. Word protections, paragraphs, emotes, so on and so forth. But the thing that we're really going to be working on today is under modules, and that's where we want to go. So you have chat alerts, get notified in chat whenever an activity happens, like a donation or a subscription. So basically, as you're in chat, you can see as somebody donates or follows or subscribes it'll not only come up with a potential chat alert like an alert box up on your overlays in your Streamlabs or your obs screen but it'll also show up in your chat box which can be a very very beneficial thing uh, right under that we see heist mini game so this is the heist and that's exclamation point heist space all or 20 or 6 9 it doesn't really matter what you do as long as you do something as the points because you're actually using specific loyalty points for your channel in order to basically gamble them away to allow a specific user to increase or decrease their loyalties basically at the end of every single month whoever has the highest loyalty points in my entire chat or my entire community gets a free gift sub or if they already have a gift sub or they're using their regular you know prime or anything else to subscribe they get to pick somebody that i will gift sub in their name so that's something that's really beneficial and we have people getting upwards to a million loyalty points a month just being in our chat and that's really something that you want to do too, right? You want to make sure that people are in your chat, they're engaged, they're watching, and they come back to watch you again. It's always good to have specific perks to engage your audience and help bring them back over and over again. But let's get back to it. Now, one of the really cool things that you could do with the heist mini game is to come in here and you have messages. So you have specific things. And in my community, uh, it kind of starts with like, ahoy, Captain so-and-so is trying to get their crew together for a treasure hunt. Type heist all, or uh, we always say heist all, but it could be anything really, but type heist something to join. I added the, come on, you son of a bitch. We have kind of customized this to kind of fit our community. Uh, we have a very, very lovely member of our community that loves cute and lovely and amazing and you know, those kind of words. So uh, how everything works is uh, a crew of amazing foxy raiders ready their bows and clean their towers to set sail for the forbidden. But cute, cute water temple. And, you know, we'll just go on with that. A little bit of role play and everything else. They love it. They absolutely think it's absolutely amazing. They love it. They helped create the story that we have. Because things like that is is really what keeps your, your audience engaged. We had it so the community can actually come and experience and enjoy these specific things with us. And they love it. And we even have things like for ads. I mean, who likes watching ads? But I actually sing a song that everyone loves. And it's not so much that they want to watch ads, but they want to hear me sing the song. So they don't have a problem watching a one or two minute ad as long as they get to hear that song. And it's strange because some days I'll literally have to sing that song once every five minutes. But we can still keep a ton of people in the chat because they just think it's so funny and cute, I guess. But... Let's get back to it. So coming down, we have solo messages like on a win. Ho, ho, so-and-so made it back from the forbidden, but cute, cute water temple. And, and you know, it, it really goes on to, to what works best for your community. You can change these to literally whatever you want and however you want to do it, but that's how we do it. 
And if you'd like to see it work regularly, come check us out. Now, in doing everything like this, you can come back over here to general and you can set the specifics. So the max amount okay, is 500 minimum entries to even start this. So the very first person would do heist all. After that, you need two other people to join in to help get that heist off the ground. The start delay is 120 seconds, the so cooldown is 300 seconds. Now, for chances to win, you could change this to whatever you want, but for viewers, I have it for a viewer, 60%, a subscriber, 90%, 69% for moderators. Winners pay out for viewers, 100%, subscribers, 200%, moderators, 150%. Now, all of these we're gonna get to in just a little bit on what the loyalty points are and how fast people can grow. But for now, let's jump over to one of the other modules and I can show you what that looks like. For example, the Gamble All or the Gamble Mini Game, and that's exclamation point Gamble Space Points. When we come in here, we can see the specifics. The minimum amount is 10. The maximum amount I have set for 5,000. A reason for that is because the payout amount ends up getting astronomical if you limit it. So let's go take a look at what this looks like actually in chat. So as you can see, if we come over here to our chat and we do exclamation point Gamble 1,000 you'll see that it'll start going through and it'll show that Mr. Fox and Sox rolled 17, lost a thousand paws, and now has 1,625. But anyways, that is how the gamble works. The next thing is media share. I have this specific thing turns off, but it does allow your viewers to interact with your media share widgets and via your cloud chat box. The eight ball. The eight ball is a very, very fun thing. For example, people could type fun and exciting things in, such as exclamation point eight ball. Well, this viewer actually hit that subscribe button. Mr. Fox and Sox says yes. So what are you gonna do? It's right there. Click the button, subscribe. It helps me out a lot and it's free. And free is a great price, but you can do many things like that. And it's absolutely hilarious. And it's very, very fun to do. Your viewers love it. Chat loves it. I think you'll really enjoy it once you get it started. So coming back over, slots. Slots are very similar to the gamble law. It allows your viewers to potentially earn extra points from spinning the slot machine. So when we actually try and type out for the slots, let's do slots 50, and we'll see that it'll pop right up and say, you got wings, we got the Vohio, and then we got the Baby Rage, and I lost 50 paws. So there you go. That's exactly how the slots work. It's very, very fun. Your chat loves it. It's, it helps keep your audience engaged, and it's something that people really enjoy. It gets them coming back over and over. All right, so for this next mod, I'm going to go over something that my chat and my community seem to really enjoy. It's called the Duel mod, and basically... A lot of people in the community like coming in and dueling people such as myself or some of my mods, and they really get a kick out of it when they whoop the mods butts. So today, we're actually going to try to challenge in a duel one of our favorite mods, Mary the Lemon Drop. Mary, are you there? Hi, I'm a moderator. <laughs> That's right, you are. All right, so I'm going to do duel at Mary. And let's see what happens. All right, so you see how it pops up and it says, Married to Lemon Drop, Mr. Fox and Socks wants to duel you. You can exclamation point accept or exclamation point deny. Oh, she accepted. What's going to happen? Mary won? Mary won? Oh my gosh, feels good, man. I might have to change that to feels bad, man. So as you see on the modules page, there are so many different things that you can actually do. I would suggest you coming through and reading exactly what it is and what you want to engage with your audience. But if you guys want to see exactly what I use, these are the ones that I use specifically. And you can actually see these, you know, and you can add specific messages. It doesn't have to be family-friendly content. You could literally make it say anything you want instead of not sure. It could say anything. That's something that you might want to take a look at. But I did say we were going to go look at the loyalty points. Now, today is the fifth day of the month, and I have not streamed every single day this month. But so far, our loyalty points, the person with the most right now, after just five days, is Blue Dragon with 72,450 points. He has watched a total of 10.25 hours. Can you believe that? It's absolutely crazy. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So Blue Dragon loves coming in here and doing some amazing things with the heists and everything else. And it's kind of a joke because every time he does the heist, it seems like with his luck, even though he is a subscriber, he seems to always die. <laughs> but somehow he's apparently still getting all these points, which is pretty awesome. But everybody, that kind of winds in on exactly what we're looking at because with using the modules and everything else it's something that can really engage your audience it's something that your audience will like 
especially if you push it. When you see something pop up over there that says, you know, heist, you know, hey, Captain Lemon got into a, uh, uh, is trying to get a crew together for a treasure hunt type heist all to join, tell them, get with them, you know, talk them through it. Tell them what you want to do and you want your chat and your audience to actually get engaged. So tell them if someone wants to do it, make it exciting, make it something that they want to do. And you'll notice your average viewership will constantly be going up as well. And so will your viewer retention. You want them there for you. But while they're there, they need to be there for them too. And one last thing before we go, make sure that you go to your chat when you start all these and you type forward slash mod space streamlabs. That way you can turn streamlabs into a mod. If not, none of this will work. None of it will work one bit. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today. I really appreciate you being here. I like to actually get my community uh, we have an amazing community, even on Discord. The link to our Discord will be down at the bottom. We have a community full of creators and streamers and fans and viewers and everything alike that all come together. And I'm basing my videos and everything else around those questions that the new streamers and everything else are asking because we get so many people in chat coming and asking these questions. So if y'all have any questions or anything else, come join our Discord. Come join me over on Twitch. Ask the questions. Get involved. Because next time, it might be you teaching me something. See you next week.